Welcome back to Crux Stationalis, the Roman Station Church Network. Today we explore the Roman Station Church for Thursday after the fifth Sunday in Lent, or the first Sunday in Passion Tide. We head to the Basilica of Saint Apollinarius, the first bishop of Ravenna. The church is presently under the care of the Opus Dei. Before we continue on our church tour, don't forget to follow Crux Stationalis and like this video. And when you're done watching, share it with your family and friends. When we enter the main door of the church, we actually stumble upon this vestibule with this image of Our Lady. It is a 15th century fresco of Our Lady, Queen of Apostles. The fresco shows the Madonna and Child being venerated by St. Paul on the left and St. Peter on the right. Below her is an inscription added when she was invoked against a local outbreak of the bubonic plague in the year 1657. It reads, Holy Mary, reparatrix of our unity among all faithful Christians, intercede for us before God, that we may be freed of this epidemic pest and from all evil, present and future. Amen. The church was founded in the early Middle Ages, probably in the 7th century. It is first mentioned in the Liber Pontificalis under Pope Hadrian I, stating that he used spolia from the ruins of an imperial building. The first priests who served the church were most likely Eastern Basilian monks who had fled from persecution during the Iconoclast period. Further, it was listed as a papal chapel with eight clerics, and in 1574 was granted to the Jesuits by Pope Gregory XIII. It was a Jesuit institution until the suppression of the same order in the year 1773, when the church passed to the Lazarists. Under the care of the Jesuits in the late 17th century, the church was in a poor state of repair. Its rebuilding was considered over a long period but wasn't carried out. Despite this, in 1702, a chapel was redecorated and dedicated to St. Francis Xavier and a statue of the saint commissioned from Pierre Le Gros, who carved the marble with extraordinary virtuosity, was preserved when the church was eventually rebuilt some 40 years later, and still stands here in this chapel. And now let's take a look at the rest of the chapels. The church has a single nave. Along the side of the nave are pilasters with Corinthian capitals holding the arches to the side chapels. In the barrel vaulted ceiling is a fresco of the glory of Saint Apollinaris by Stefano Pozzi. The high altar was made on orders from Pope Benedict XIV with stucco decorations by Bernardino Ludovisi and an early 17th century altarpiece depicting St. Apollinarius' consecration as Bishop of Ravenna. The crypt contains many relics and as detailed in other videos during the Roman Station Church pilgrim itinerary, the relics are brought out on these special days especially on the Thursday of the fifth week of Lent for the Roman Station Church Liturgy. In this way, the relics of the martyrs might be venerated by the faithful. Thank you for joining us on our Roman Station Church itinerary. I look forward to seeing you at our next church. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your family and friends. I'll see you tomorrow.